Pass. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Now here it comes. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. So we got him swinging. Jose Iglesias goes quietly leading off the sixth inning. Miguel Cabrera is in with one away now. As he swings and misses here at strike one. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Good cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's 1-2. and mm, He just missed on that changeup. I like that pitch right there. You got two strikes on him. Throw that changeup and see if he chases it. That time he laid off, but hey, good idea. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now Here's the switch him. hitting Victor Martinez. Third trip Victor to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Pitch on the way. And he will strike him out. Ten. Here's Yonder Alonzo. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. And they'll step off and try again. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. The second baseman, number Ready for another shot now. Jason Kipnis. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Here's the one and one delivery. This ball will be chopped foul. <clears throat> He's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. This one's flared toward left center. Coming in is Martin, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. A hit in two tries so far. Jan Gomes. Enrique Burgos takes over on the mound. 
down here with nobody out in the sixth the inning. Francisco. Francisco Mejia. Line drive to center field. Kiermeyer has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. The relay throw, and he's safe. Striding in once again. Brandon Geyer, no hits in two trips. Ronnie Chisenhall will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 1 0 now to Chisholm Hall. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Well, obviously not fighting on the first two, so they'll go ahead and give him the freebie. Here, Bradley Zimmer. And shooting for the Indian, number four, Bradley Zimmer. And when in doubt, he'll just step off and bluff that runner back to third. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three, one count, first to second. A lot of things can be happening here. I wonder if the runners start, but more importantly, get a pitch you can drive. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Martin is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And there will be no attempt to score here as the bases stay loaded with two gone now. now batting, Stepping baseman, in and ready for another Jose shot, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Wilson answers the call now to pitch here in a big Tigers. spot. He inherits a bases loaded Alex jam but needs just Wilson. one out to get out of it. From the stretch. And a neck high fastball that time. 
One run, six hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that retires the side. Nick Castellanos now. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Nick. Yeah. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Well, that's another first pitch strike right there. Now he's over 70% so far in this game. First pitch strike to hitters. That's why he's deep in the game right now. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Nick Castellanos goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. And he lays off for ball one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. The catcher, number 28. First pitch of the Ryan at bat. Pena. Brian Pena oh, is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Ah. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball, it's moving all over the place. Fouled straight back. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ready once again, Francisco Lindor. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Francisco Lindor. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Here's the 1-2 and two delivery. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at 2-2. Two and two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another 2-2 offering. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Martin is under it. He's got it one away. At the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. 0 for 2 with a walk Edwin for him so far. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. Chop foul right by home plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here.
set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Kiermaier looks up. Oh, give me a break. That landed in Heritage Park. Here's Michael Brantley. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Matt, I'm telling you, pitchers are stubborn, right? He gives up a home run on that very same pitch, but he came back with it. This time he got it down. He's stubborn. I'm going to come back. I'm going to throw it again, but I'm going to execute it. And he did. Here's a drive out toward left center field. Brandley will take the turn and head for second now. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Here's First Yonder Alonso. Number 17, Yonder Alonso. Your attention, please. Now so with a left-handed hitter points. waiting, they'll go to their Number own left-hander out of the bullpen. This change defensively for the Tigers. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Now for Brantley, he's at second with his fourth double here on the season. Now playing center field. The 0-1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets this past him. Well, that's two strikes the at the knees, and now you find now yourself 0-2. I, I tell you, he's throwing the ball so well, you got to set your sights Francisco down low and look for any pitch down. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Two base hits, both singles to this point. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. One one. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Little tapper down the first baseline. But that one rolls foul. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him from what I could tell. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Here's Leonis Martin. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Left fielder. Leonis Martin. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-2 one and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Yeah, but he has been so good. You're talking about getting into the eighth inning with 100 pitches. Not many guys do that. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Hey, one of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Struck him out. And make it 14 punch outs Second now in the game. Cody Mexican Allen. Machado. Your attention, please. Now pitching First for pitch the coming. Indians, here it is. Dixon Machado stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. A little bouncer that rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Here's another one, two. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Under it is Alonzo, two away now. Standing in, Kevin him. Kiermaier. That's Three at-bats for him in this Kevin. one, all ending with Kiermaier. him going down on strikes. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And there's oh, ball is. one. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. 
There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He's working on a one for three thus far. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Well, there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings, big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back a little bit and try to put that ball in play. And no swing, apparently, ball one. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Ready for another chance? Francisco Mejia. He'll get things After started it. now in the bottom Francisco of inning number eight. Mejia. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here it comes, 1-0. Back up the middle. Iglesias to his left. He's there. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Lonnie Chisholm Hall will stand in. His first plate appearance resulted in an intentional walk. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is fouled at the plate. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Stepping up now, Bradley Zimmer. 0 for 1 for Bradley. him here in this one. Zimmer. Here comes the first pitch. He's running towards second. Right side. Cabrera's got it. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Digging in once again. Jose Ramirez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball one. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Chisholm Hall heads for the plate. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. Digging in to try it again. Francisco Lindor. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Shane Green is called upon now to pitch, really Detroit. needing that double play Number ball. 61. Bases are loaded here with only Shane one man out. Green. Has a look, now the pitch. And the first pitch misses high here, perhaps trying to get him to pop something up. It's 1-0. and oh. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. 
Here it comes on one and one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two balls, one strike. Two and one. Oh, that was a pitch he wanted right there. That, that's a situation you can't go to two balls because if you go to three, you know you're going to throw him the ball right down the middle. This pitch right here, it, everything hinges on this pitch. Base is loaded. You know he's got to come to you. He's got to throw a strike right here. Kiermaier has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. So striding in, Edwin Encarnacion. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep it from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. And this is a ball to Encarn. Two and one. Encarnacion, two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Well, here we sit, two on, two outs, two strikes. Look, they start off looking good this inning, and it'd be very deflating if they don't pick up something here. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. In now, Miguel Cabrera. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First baseman. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. A pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Here's the switch hitting Victor Martinez. 0 for 3 with a couple of Victor strikeouts Martinez. for him to this point in the ballgame. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The 0 1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. No two offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. There's certain situations where things just have to happen, and this is one of those. Like it or not, he's got to challenge him right here. Ready with another two-strike offering. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready with another two-strike offering. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position. Side corner. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count not to 0 2. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Nick Castellanos becomes the first out of the inning. Jimer Candelario stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. The 0 1. 1 and 1. The one and one pitch. 
swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. And he struck out again. That's the third time the he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ryan Pena. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Throw comes quickly to the infield, so that go-ahead run will have to hold up at third with two away. How about him? So digging in now, Leonis Martin, as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Slap hard the opposite way. Brantley is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. Fielder, Michael Brantley. This is lifted out to left. Martin is under it. One down. Coming to the plate now, Yonder Alonso. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here it comes. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss one and one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead it's two and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Second baseman, number so digging in now, Jason Kipnis is yeah. looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a little tapper. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So stepping in Dixon Machado. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2 2 tie. Takes a high fastball for a strike. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0-2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode, and you haven't taken one swing. And he takes very close to the inside corner here, 2-2, two and two, though. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two and two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. And the pitch. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to be. Again, the frame in extra innings. Tyler Olson will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Zimmer is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Here's the shortstop, shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Jose he comes into this Iglesias. appearance. Zach now McAllister will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance Zach of the season so far. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. The 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now the 0-2 pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Now the 1-2 and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Alonzo has room in foul territory. And he makes the catch for the second out. The first baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in. On the night, he's 2-4 for four with a pair of singles. 
Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. That's a big pitch right there in this situation. I may see him come back with that. This hitter's so amped up, ready to go. Nice job of pulling the string. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. The one and one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Now the one and two pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier is there, and he has it for the first out. Lonnie Chisholm Hall right will stand in. Eight. He steps in off Lonnie. a base hit in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. So striding forward now, now Bradley Better Zimmer. Field. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Zimmer. And now he'll step off quickly and look the runner back. Hit in the air out to left. Martin is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that ends the inning. Riding in once again, Victor Martinez. He'll kick Detroit. things off here in the 11. Now a swing Martinez. and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Ramirez in foul ground makes the play one away. Digging in to try it again, Nick Castellanos. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Uh, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Well, he was clearly looking for a fastball right there, and that slider got right to him. Went whoops, slid to the side, and as a result, you got an ugly swing and miss. Got him, and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting, third baseman, Jimer Candelario. Jimer Candelario is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and zero. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Boy, he is not seeing the ball at all. He's already got three strikeouts. A swing and a miss. That retire. Ready once again, Francisco Lindor attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. And a neck-high fastball that time. Here comes the 1-0. Late that time for a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. One out. Ready for another chance. Edwin Encarnacion. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Here's the first pitch to him. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate 
at the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's set. Here's the 3 1. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. They win it. Santa Maria. As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time to show our appreciation for the man you see there, Edwin Encarnacion. Thanks largely to one heroic swing. He's our tops player of the game. Hey, when you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game. And that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Three runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Tigers, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Zach McAllister. His record is now 1-0. The loss goes to Shane Green. He falls to 0 and 3. Time of the ball game: two hours and 52 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Progressive Field: 43,345. The Indians thank you for your continued support and remind you: please drive home safely. Thank you and good night.